All right, so we're at the hospital. Uh, they're all coronavirus safe. <laughs> Still haven't got my blood work done, but we're doing that here soon. Um, so yeah, they got masks for people, as you can tell. Uh, signs up. Pretty quiet here, which is good. Um, next week might be a different story. I'm coming to you live from Lapine, Oregon. Uh, secluded away in a cabin in the woods. Literally five miles from the closest town, out in the woods, gated two or three acres of its own land close there are neighbors but it's a service road out in the middle of nowhere um i've got here's uh my pandemic part of my pandemic food supply we have got my eggs tons of popcorn spaghetti sauce creamer soups seven or eight days worth of mac and cheese some good tea real good coffee there's good coffee in here too it's just a folder scan a couple of pizzas packs of bacons hamburgers Sup breakfast sandwiches, two bags of some cereals, two gallons of milk, this, more eggs, more yogurt, strawberries, cheeses and fruits, and blah, blah, blah. So, I guess Dix and I are hoping that this will get us through till this crazy shit balances out a little bit. That's uh, about 12 days worth of canned goods and mac and cheese and tea, just in case. Anyway, so my concern with the coronavirus is I am in one of those categories that if I get it, I'm dead. And I just had information that the person who delivers my groceries, her mom tested positive. And she lives with her mom. So so even with all this carefulness, like at the hospital, here, everything, I'm st there's no way to get away from it. So I'm hoping, I'm cleaning all my groceries right now. I'm going to do a little, you know, wipe down here. Like with a sanitary Lysol disinfecting swab. I'm just going to have to do that with everything. Hope for the best. Ain't that right, Dixie? We gotta hope for the best. Hope for the best. Hope for the best. <sighs> so I'm gonna hope that that didn't transfer, that I'm healthy enough even in my bad situation. I've been avoiding going to town. I went and got my meds a couple of times and I went uh, to get blood work yesterday. Oh, and that's cool too. You can tell it's nice out. It's supposed to snow again tonight, but it's beautiful right now. Um, so yeah, we got coronavirus um, eating up the country, so. With my stage four colon cancer and all these organ problems, um, it's a little, you know, a little unnerving, but I'm just gonna do what I can. I gotta go get my blood work done today and I don't even wanna go. I mean, I'm luckily they're gonna let me go to Lapine instead of all the way to Bend. So that's a little bit of a break for that, but I really don't even wanna be at a hospital or around people at a hospital. I've got this right here. This is what I need for the next three weeks. And actually I've got enough meds and I've got enough food. Hopefully everything to get through for Two to three weeks, just in case it does go nuts, and it might. You never know. Humans are nuts. Just be careful. It's airborne. It's not just, you know, touch and contact. It is airborne also through, like, coughing and sneezing. And it hangs in the air. That's something you need to remember about viruses. They hang in the air for a little bit, and they slowly drop, either onto a surface or on the ground. So just be aware. Oh, there, my ride's coming. Time to go get some blood drawn and hope I don't die. Butter, come here. Butter. Come here. Who's your baby? Who's the baby? Whoa. <laughs> All right, as you can tell, it snowed more. Um, got my blood work back. Everything's improved. So uh, my tumor marker dropped again. Went from uh, the last check, last month, six weeks ago was 28.6, dropped to 15.8. So still improving, man. Um, you know the coronavirus situation. We're here. We're just gonna do what we have to do. And as long as it's beautiful and we got plenty of snow and food and water, you know, I guess we'll make it. You guys all be safe.